Beginning on Friday night, and a very large crowd came out to enjoy rugby under the lights at Poinder Park for a National One game between Kelso and Melrose, which also doubled as a Border League fixture. It was a game packed with incidents and drama, and with just a few minutes on the clock, the powerful Kelso pack thundered over the line to give Terry Logan the opening score. Border derbies are always feisty affairs, and a couple of minutes later the kettle overboiled, and we had a bit of a dust-up. They're all friends really, of course, but referee Rory Campbell handled things brilliantly, told everyone to get on with the rugby, and it did the trick, because no yellow cards were dished out in the game. Penalty kicks were exchanged between the sides and Kelso could have added to their total when Dwayne Patterson raced to the line. But just when you want the ball to bounce perfectly into your hands, things don't always go your way. In the second half, Melrose clawed back a try with Struan Hutchison falling up his kick to the corner and pouncing on the loose ball. Then Frankie Robson intercepted a Melrose pass to break down the field which brought the crowd to its feet. A couple of phases later, and captain Andy Tate chipped ahead and restored Kelso's lead to 10 points. Michael M. Velassi Julian got Melrose back into the game again with this try just before the end. But Kelso held out to the final whistle and on balance deserved the victory by 18 points to 13. Border derbies are won with, with a lot of heart and passion. I think we showed that in abundance today. We asked for an 80-minute performance and... Yes, it wasn't pretty, but you know, we asked boys to stand up and, and asked a lot of questions of them, and, and I think 1 to 15 that they did that. Selkirk's home match on Saturday morning against table toppers Curry saw them concede three tries in the first half, including this one from former Kelso player Ian Sim. But the suitors had a much better second period, scoring two of their own from James Bett and Andrew McComb. But it wasn't enough, and they went down 21 12. Stuart Cameron. ITV News.